In this exercise we're looking at creating a folded paper effect on the iPad in Affinity Designer. This is fairly straightforward and won't take you very long at all. So open your canvas and create an artboard 800 by 600 pixels in size. Create a small square on that artboard 100 by 100 pixels. Now set the colour selector to RGB hex slider. Makes it a bit easier to follow what I'm doing really. Set the colour to 21, EA and FF for the rectangle. And we're doing this so that the rectangles are really easy to see when you get a lot of them on the page. Because that's what we're going to do. Move the square to the top left. And the blue colour simply makes the squares easy to see, as you can see there. Now make copies and duplicate the process. You want these squares not only all the way across the page, but all the way down the page. You're repeating until the rectangle of the artboard is filled. Now select the alternate rectangles and set the colours as shown. And in this case it's the grey is a, is a CC, CC, CC. Lots of C's. And you do this right across the page. Continue to work through the squares. <laughs> you can get a little bit confused, so just be careful what you're doing. Finally, set the rest of the paper colours. You can see we've taken out the blue. You've got the grey, the white, a lighter grey and a darker grey. There we go. Now, create a perfect circle in black, 100 by 100 pixels. And you can see over in the transform uh, panel that's open there, the dimensions are a 100 by 100. If you can't figure out how to do it, you can set the exact size in there. Now with, those, with that circle, set the transparency tool, select, I should say, the transparency tool and select the radial option. You can see it's selected there. Now adjust the radial centre inwards. We only want a fairly small smudge in the centre there, not very big. Select two squares directly behind the circle with the Move tool and then in the Transform Studio tap Move to the Front. So those two squares there we're going to pop up and move to the front. And you can see the result. The shadow seems to appear under the fold of the paper. Repeat the process across the grid. Now this can, <laughs> this can become difficult, so take your time with it. Working carefully across the grid, modify all sections that you can see there. In this example, I'll delete some of the squares to accommodate a text caption. So those squares on the right hand side I've actually deleted. Create a full size black rectangle over the artboard. Place the rectangle in the background. You do that of course by making sure your black background is selected and go up to the transform tool and select the leftmost option there, the order, and put it in the background. So it will be behind everything that's on the, um, on the canvas, on the artboard. Now reduce the black to a grey level to suit your design. You don't want it pitch black. A nice grey will be nice and also still shows the fold of the paper. You can see the black shadow of the paper fold there. I've got the grey slider set to 62% but you can change that. And add your text as desired. I've got, very simply, folded paper. Hmm, 
well we can see that can't we <laughs> okay there we go finished kind of looks like folded paper doesn't it now you have a new design and it's a new option to add to your kit of tools and you can use that to make backgrounds textures um, mock-ups whatever you like and on whatever scale you like thanks for watching enjoy